What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We are here with another breakdown for Sunday Vibes. We are doing now Flying Nimbus, and the name Flying Nimbus comes from, if you know Dragon Ball Z, you know a Flying Nimbus. I don't know Flying Nimbus. I'm kidding. I know Flying Nimbus is... Flying Nimbus is a cloud that Goku and his kids rode on before they could actually fly so it's pretty cool um other people used it i remember that um i don't know much of the backstory behind flying nimbus i don't know if there is one and i guess this doesn't make me a real dragon ball z fan but really what else do you need to know it's a cloud that you can ride on throughout the sky and when i was making this i thought of exactly that you were flying on Nimbus, you were flying high in the sky. So when I first started off this beat, I started off with this guitar chain loop. It, yeah, yeah, this is how I just found it. As you know, one of three semitones, I don't think I figured out the key for it i think it just upped it up three semitones next thing i did was i had this drum loop on there first um i didn't have this just being four bars i actually had it the way it is right here right here because at first when i got rid of when i just shortened it down it would it felt weird like the whole time it was playing it just didn't sound right so the more it kept playing the more like look at that like that's so long that's so that's just a really long sample in like just listen to that real quick sense why I just said that I think it's because I added the keys which just go like this you know that on top of the keys down top of the guitar was terrible <laughs> let me tell you man when I made that at first like I just realized I was a whole loop so it did go with the drum beat, it was all cool. But as soon as I had the keys on there, it just sounded all wonky and weird. So I was just, just gonna have it go on a loop the whole time. But then I add all these effects onto it. And then I just chopped it up. So like what you see right there is just me going a full eight bars each cause I just thought it was kind of necessary to have it go that long personally. And then I just chopped it up twice. I'm actually kind of surprised, but let's see. I have that one, and also I got this one up here too. And this right here is just like the baseline for it. And you know, you just put that on top of the, with the the drums and the keys. That's what it is. Like. I liked it because it just sounds so weird and so just out of here with all those like effects I put on there. So it sounded kind of trippy. And 
I just thought it was kind of like a cool thing to do. And I don't regret it at all. Like, even though it may not even sound together, it doesn't sound like on key with anything, I just, it still sounds good to me. It, I, I enjoy hearing it. And it's just like a little part that I right here. And that is just like a little four bars just to, you know, get right back into the main, uh, main loop, which is just like the beginning. And really, that's just it. You know what I'm saying? Where we get all that down. Yeah, that's Flying Nimbus for you. You know, again, like the majority of Sunday Vibes is really just me doing just loops. <laughs> that is just it. I'm just doing loops. But that is it. That's all I got for the first one. And here we go with the second track we're gonna do two for one again like we did last time here we go to the next track all right on this one we're doing the interlude called dusk it's the second interlude on sunday vibes and this one you know it's another quick one under 45 seconds really quick i think i was also making this when i was working on the little intro for that client podcast and this one, you know, because they want something super simple and something chill. I decided, you know, give them something chill. And I believe I just start off with the kick and the snare, probably, I assume. And, you know, it just starts off in the beginning like this. there you know we got we got the kick going on right here just something simple a little, little you know not not bounce but you know just like a little cool groove to it and then you know you got the snare right over here too on the twos and fours We got a clap, copying the same thing as a snare, and we got a nice cool little hi-hat going on here. Can you believe that I actually did that by myself, on my own? I didn't click it in, I actually played that. But all together though, you kind of do get this cool little beginning. That's when the chorus come in with the bass, I think. I think that's the bass, I don't know. cool thing about that is like while working on that um especially with this interlude it's not too much like it's not a lot going on but like as soon as that attack comes in it feels like something big is about to go on but you realize it's an interlude so it's not gonna last too long and what we got going on here is just you know what we use every single time the electric 200 by waves audio God, I did not solo it out using the step dance preset I don't know about y'all but that just sounds so smooth which is why i like using ways audio they just have like the coolest electric piano sounds and they just sound so smooth so calming and then what we have to go along with it is just something from massive uh massive is a 
virtual instrument by Native Instruments. For those who don't know, I'm using the preset called Fudge Cake. I I forgot about that name, <laughs> but this is what it sounds like right here. I just liked it like that was just like a little cool thing I think I did by impulse and I was just kind of like freestyle and I was like okay what melody can go underneath the chords and that was the first thing I thought of and I just used that and I thought it sounded really cool with it so there you have it really that's like really just the beat that's it's called simple because I couldn't think of anything it was just really super simple to make and but it's called dusk while you listen to the whole project it goes from like morning to night so we're at dusk and next pro next track will be sunrise sunset so in this one yeah pretty proud of this uh happy to have made like so quick and so easily um it just showed me that like you know sometimes again you know simple is probably the best way to go and you know that's how i made it let's just listen to it one last time because it's only like probably under 40 seconds so we can just start from the beginning my bad Also, cool thing I did, I automated the volume so that way towards the end, it just starts tailing off so that way it can go into the next track. I just thought that was like a good thing to do for it at the moment and I still still think it's a good idea to do. And another thing I did, most importantly, I think I quantized the kick and the snare so that way they're on beat. Just that way, that rhythm, you know that it's going to be on beat. Everything else is kind of loose. It's not on beat. You could definitely tell that the hi-hat was not on beat. But I did that just so that way you knew where, like, the heart was, the rhythm was. And just everything else can kind of go on its own and be a little bit more loose. But I think about anything on there, I think that's the only thing that actually is quantized. I think everything else is kind of a little bit everywhere. Yeah, it seems like that to me. Yeah, yeah. That's what it looks like. But that was kind of the last thing I wanted to say about the volume, about the um, the quantization I did for the kick and the snare. Peace out, y'all. Thanks for watching the video. See y'all tomorrow.